There are lots of factors for us to think about in local government at the moment. The main thing is austerity, which continues to affect authorities. It has for about the last eight years. What we're seeing is councils doing more for less. So the roles that they're recruiting to tend to focus on that agenda. So with interim managers, what we tend to see is roles are very much based on change and transformation. And in terms of the services that are offered, like children's, adult services, environment for example, it's very much about ensuring those services are safe. So with children's and adults, ensuring that services are secure, are delivered to the best of their ability, but within a smaller cost envelope. And that's what it's all about. With the growth agenda around environment, housing, regeneration, those are uh, increasing areas of focus for local authorities as well. So the other factor for interim management recruitment is IR35. That's largely settled down now. It's 18 months or so old almost. But the changes that took place last April have made a significant difference to the way in which local authorities recruit and that has led to an increase in fixed term contracts to a degree. That has been a factor for local authorities to think about when they're bringing in flexible results to their talent pools and their senior leadership positions. The main area of change is around roles focusing on the commercial aspects of running a local authority. That's to say, creating opportunities to monetize activities and drive income generation back into services that badly need it. Uh, coupled with that, we're seeing more and more work towards either outsourcing services, whether that's to the private sector or other organizations, or indeed sharing services. So that's often around shared management teams and those sorts of things. So there are skill sets developing that are required that don't necessarily exist within local government around trading more effectively on a commercial footing. So for example, if you're setting up a trading company, very typically what we'll see is local authorities will look to see whether they can hire in expertise from the private sector. That's very prevalent at the moment around property development. So councils are building houses again, they're often setting up development companies through which to do that that are wholly owned by the council. You see the leadership positions in those roles typically occupied by candidates who have perhaps come from the house building industry, for example. So that is happening. There are pockets where that's happening more and more. So in terms of Brexit, there absolutely will be an impact for local authorities, which they are no doubt already planning for. It could well become, even in the short term, harder to attract and retain businesses at a very time when authorities are very focused on ensuring that they maximise economic growth in their individual areas. Uh, and on a more tactical level, if there is a downturn in the economy, that will push a, a degree of individuals into hardship uh, and could well see uh, local authorities have a spike in demand on some of their services such as housing and council tax.